Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to retrace a logo using Design Spark Mechanical 6.0. Now, if you're using the free version of uh, Design Spark Mechanical 6.0, uh, they did away with uh, most of, in fact, all of the import options and export options. If you're using the paid version, uh, they still have those. So um, I used to be able to recreate. Uh, any logo that I wanted to in Corel Draw, and then I would save that file out as an SVG, and then I would bring that SVG into FreeCAD, and then I would save the file from there out into a step file, and then I would import the step file into Design Spark Mechanical 5.0. But since using 6, those are no longer an option. So what you have to do is recreate logos. So we're going to do this uh, Sig Sauer. This is a pistol company or a handgun company. We're going to recreate that logo. We'll go ahead and drag that in. This is an easy logo to create since mostly everything is round. So we're going to start off with a, a circle tool. We'll pull this up to there. And then we're going to move this down a little bit. So grab the, click on it, grab the red. Just kind of move it down and then Maybe move it over a little bit, right to there. You just want to try to get it as close to the original as possible. So we'll click on that. I want to, the uh, artwork, I want to blow it up a little bit. So hold down your shift key and then grab the corner. Just kind of stretch that a little bit and then just put it in the center there. Okay, so what we first want to do is draw a line. So we want to get this line here. Make sure it's touching the circle. We want to use that. And then we're going to get our offset tool, which is this one. And then we're just going to offset all the way over to the other side. Make sure they're touching. Make sure the line is touching the circle up there. Because eventually we're going to trim. We're going to use the trim. So we're going to pull that down to there. Make sure that line is touching. Get our offset. And then we want this to be 3, so we're going to offset it 3. So just go ahead and type in 3 there. Okay, so now we have the basis of this stuff. So get our trim away. We're going to trim away these pieces here. Okay, so now we have... This is the basis of our Sour logo. So now we're going to get another circle. Go from the center, and we're going to do this metal stuff here. So... Let's drag this out. That's good right there. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and put another, get these, start getting these lines in here. So let's draw a line there. Make sure that it's touching. And then um, we want to get our trim away. And trim away this. So we got the D there. And then you want to go ahead and uh, Let's get our line. Let's get our line tool again, and then we want to come, come all the way down. Make sure that that's touching, and then we want to do the cross line. You could just come straight across if you want to make it at an angle. There's is a little bit of an angle. Just go ahead and make your line at an angle like this, and then we could do the offset and use this line to go down here. All right, now we want to move this line over a little bit. Grab the red, just kind of move it over and then move it down. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get our trim away. Let's trim there, trim these two, trim this one, and trim that one there. Actually, undo that. Okay, we still gotta put that in there. So let's get the another line. And we'll do like this. Select the click off. We'll get our trim away. Let's cut these pieces here. Actually, undo that. We want to have this line here. All right, so let's go like that. And then we'll go ahead and trim away. Trim away this. Trim away that piece there. The middle piece there. 
and then get rid of the actually we have to have this one across all the way across so let's go ahead and get rid of these lines here and then add one more line from there to there go ahead and get the trim away let's trim away this piece here Okay, you got that, you got the I, and you got the G. You got to put these in over here. So let's go ahead and get our line tool. Turn off. Do we have snap on? We don't have snap on. Okay, just go ahead and overextend that a little bit right to there. And then we'll get the trim. Draw one more line, get the line tool, and then we're going to draw this. drag that over get the select and then let's drag this down here you can overdraw these it's okay and then go ahead and offset we'll get this line here let's offset that down to there now I'm going to move this line over a little bit so we'll click on it grab the move grab it by the green nudge it over and now we're going to trim to get our trim away Let's cut these, get that little piece there in the middle, get these, get these little pieces here, that, that, I think I might have a, we're going to have to redraw that top line. So get the line tool, go from endpoint to endpoint. Okay, so here's the logo, and go ahead and uh, get rid of the uh, our background. Oh, something happened right there. That's okay. We're not completely done yet, but we'll get there. Let's go Let's get rid of all these pieces. Get rid of those. Okay, so the G looks good. The I looks good. The S, the only thing we have to do is offset. So we're going to offset that up to there. So just go like that. And then... We're going to go grab our line tool, endpoint to endpoint. Okay. I don't know if that logo looks like that right there. So let's go ahead and double click. Yeah, I guess that is the same angle as that right there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get rid of that line. We're going to use that as our reference, and then we're going to offset it. So we'll offset that line. We'll just pull that down there. So, th so these are the same. Okay, now get our trim away. Right there. And then let's cut this stuff. Cut there. Okay, so this is going to be our, our SIG logo. So what one thing we need to do before we extrude any of this is go ahead and round the corners a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and grab that crate around the corners. And we're going to put a little fillet in there, not big at all, like maybe uh, 0.3. Let's just say 0.3. Okay. All right. So that's 0.3. And then we're going to do that for all of this. 0.3. Okay. You just want a little bit of a, you don't want that to have a sharp edge. Just put 0.3 on all of this, all these corners. And it should just kind of snap. Once you've done one of the, the radiuses, you should just pull and then it'll snap at the 1.3, 0.3. You just kind of have to click and then kind of slide down your mouse and then it'll be on 0.3. Okay, we're almost done. Get this corner, inside corner here, grab these. That one you could just make one millimeter since it's kind of at a weird angle. 0.3, let's get these. Grab these up here. 0.3, do the inside. And then do this one here. Okay, do this bottom one. This one over here, 
If it doesn't snap, just type in open three. And then do these inside one. And then this one here. Okay, and just make sure that you've got all of them. Looks like I do, except for this one over here. Okay, so now we're done with the logo. Um, so what we want to do now is do control minus. I wanted to make a, uh, a beer coaster out of this. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to pool. Okay, now we're going to click on this face right here. We're going to add a circle in there in the center. Um, I'm going to scale this up way big. We're going to do a 100 millimeter coaster, which is probably the average size beer coaster. Now we want to drag a marquee around that. We want to fill it. And then we want to go ahead and select, hold down the control key. Actually, click on that first one, hold down the control key and get these three. You want to go to pull. We're going to come down here to this little icon. Looks like a box. Then we want to click on corner. And then when we get those three arrows, we want to click and drag. We want to resize these. Okay. Now we're going to go to move. We're going to move this up right to that this little arrow here. And then we're going to move it over. Maybe make it sure it's as close as possible in the center. Okay. Now we're going to spin that. Now when we give this some thickness, so we're going to go click on that. We're going to drag down. Yeah, that's fine. 12 millimeters. That's good. Now we're going to sink this in. So we're going to actually cut this. So hold the control key down. Then we're going to drag it in. Or down, I should say. Actually, okay, let's go. Uh, it's got five. I'm going to just sink it in three so it's not too much. And then we'll go select the click off. Okay, here's our SIG beer coaster. And then um, the only other thing I think I'm going to do with this is we're going to go to pull. We're going to put a fillet in here, a couple of millimeters. And then if you want a solid one, if you want one to be heavy, go ahead and uh, keep it solid like that. Control minus. If you want a thick one, let's copy this. Go to move. Grab the red. Hold down control. So we can have two. You can have a heavy one. And if you want to shell this, you can have one that's maybe two millimeters thick. And you can shell it like this. So this could be a lighter one. All well, depends on what you want to do with it. Okay, control plus. So if you want to put um, some fillets on this stuff, you can double click everything, go to pull. And this is going to be easier to add fillets to since you created the artwork in uh, Design Spark. So let's go 0.6 for the fillet. And then we'll do one here. Just multiple click till you get all the there. And then type in 0.6. And then do the same thing here. Multiple click. Type 0.6. And this is going to be our our SIG, SIG Sour uh, gun beer coaster. Now you could, uh, this you could even use for a cap if you want to make a... Uh, a container to hold stuff in. Um, do we want to make a container? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like this for now. So you have solid coaster, which is probably what you want. And then um, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is just an example of what you could do with it. And we'll go ahead and go to trimetric. And then if you want to do the inside ones too, you want to fill it those, go ahead and go click on them, multiple click, type 0.6. There's the inside, and we'll do the same over here, multiple click, type 0.6.
and then do a multiple click here on that line and type 0.6. Okay, this is going to be it. This will be your Sig Sawyer logo recreated in Design Spark Mechanical. Um, we created the logo from a uh, JPEG file. We brought in the JPEG file and then we went ahead and um, used our lines. We did the trim. Then we put a small fillet around everything and then we sunk it in a little bit. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial on how to create a logo in Design Spark Mechanical 6.0. And I hope you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of the video. And as always, thanks for watching.